Ahoy mateys and welcome back to Skull and Bones. Look at that sunrise behind us. A little bit concerning. What's the saying? Red sky at night, sailors delight. Red sky in the morning, sailors take warning. Something like that. I don't know. Could be an interesting day ahead of us. But uh, we have received a promotion. We are now a brigand. Mark me, Captain. Each ship you sink on the high seas paints a larger target on your hull. Even now your enemies rage and spit at the sound of your name. And what a delightful sound that is. So I will take this. We're going to throw that in our cargo. We also have an invitation here. Your work around the Red Isle has gotten you noticed. Been extended an invitation to wade into the abyss. We'll take a look at that later because we have a lot going on today. That actually sounds really interesting though. So let's take a look at our, our cargo first. I'm going to open up this chest, see what we get. We got a maintenance forge. A uh, little thing we can put on our ship if we want. But uh, basically this new infamy level, the brigand level opens up a new ship for us. If we go into our knowledge, our codex, our ships, today we are going to be creating the Padua Kang. Now, I think this is probably the best ship in this game. Obviously, each ship has different stats and abilities and does some things better than others. But overall, from like a easy to get, what it takes to get it, and what it can actually become, this is kind of the cream of the crop, the jack of all trades here. So very excited for this. Now we are going to have to get the blueprint for it first, and that is over here in the East Indies. So we are going to be sailing farther than we ever have before through the open seas and over to a new area over here. We're also going to have to get a bunch of new resources and stuff for it. It's, it's obviously going to be quite the undertaking, but I'm very excited for it, and it should be a good time. So, I mean, no time like the present. Let's head out. Really been enjoying our ship that we have right now, our little cutter. She's been great to us, but I do think after some of the fighting and stuff that we did in the last episode, I, th I think it's time that we up our game a little bit. We need a little bit more offense. She's treated us right, but we just kind of started to outgrow her a little bit. This is crazy though, man. Yeah, we're going to be going all the way across the ocean here. So the East Indies, this would be like Indonesia, like Papua New Guinea, Singapore, stuff like that, right? Like I'm pretty sure that's what was considered the East Indies back in the day. Might still be, I'm not 100% sure on that, but uh, we're going to ride out, baby. It's going to be fun. Looks like we're going to be going straight through a storm to be able to get there. Who knows how long this is going to end up taking us, but we got to go for it. Imagine this feeling, watching that giant disturbance off in the distance, the lightning strikes and everything. You're on this creaky old wooden ship, and I mean, you've got no choice. You've just got to go straight into that bad boy. Oh boy, yeah, the rain's already starting here. I'm sure we're going to be okay. We've... we've sailed these particular waters a little bit before we went down here but we are going to be going straight into an area that we have never seen before we've got to do some scouting hopefully unlock some uh some places where we can fast travel to some ports and things see if we can get some of these loot piles here see who we have who else is bold enough to be sailing out here we can't even see them okay we're just gonna keep keep the course that we have set and hope for the best Oh my goodness, dude, look at the size of the waves out here. This is terrifying. Now, the thing is, is we are going to be punching above our weight class a little bit, so we got to be on our best behavior. Let me take a look at who we have out here. That's a level 10 ship. We are not, not prepared at all to take that on. Uh, not not even in the same ballpark here. So we, ooh, look at Rogue, Rogue Wave. Oh, Rogue Wave is one of the most dangerous encounters for a pirate. Align your ship's bow or stern towards the wave. Embrace in order to survive. Oh my God. Oh my god. It missed us. Holy cow. That could have absolutely annihilated us. Gotta be careful. Gotta make sure we stay on track here. Dude, we are getting thrown all over the place. I do not want to mess with these colonial shipments or anything else. We are, we're just gonna mind our own business. We're gonna sail right through. We're gonna keep our fingers crossed and hope nobody messes with us. I'm gonna kind of shoot for this gap here. Let's, let's mark this on the map so we have kind of a, a compass heading that we can shoot for. So... Like I was saying, this is kind of a, a new area of the world that we honestly aren't ready to take on yet. We don't have the level for it yet. But we do have the freedom to be able to sail there, to be able to collect the resources, to be able to get the ship. So, thought it might be kind of fun to go get a, a really good ship that's going to help us out and help increase our ability for the rest of this playthrough. Dude, look at some of these guys. What is that thing? A giant three, three tiered level nine admiral. I. I'm just going to mind my own business. I don't even want them to see me looking at them. You know what I mean? Like, I, we're just, we're just going to keep moving through the storm and 
hope for the best. Look at us climbing this wave, dude. This is insane. I love that they actually made this kind of an event. Making it all the way to the uh, the East Indies. Can you imagine this feeling back in the day? Look at these waves. Just trying to stay alive out here. And these guys are all out fighting in this. We're gonna make sure we don't run into anybody on accident. We should be good. Seems like we're through the thick of it now. Lan Ho! Look at that, we got some rocks over there. We've entered the region, the Eastern Basin region. We've got some Dutch ships over here. We have not seen them yet. Dude, this would be so scary, not knowing what you're getting yourself into. My goodness. It does seem like we're through the worst of the storm though. Bigger waves are mainly behind us. There's still a few in front of us. Now last episode, I did do quite a bit of grinding. Oh gosh, we're getting a little bit off course here. The waves keep pushing us. We, we can't really leave the helm we got to be smart about it but uh you can see we did a lot of africa i just kind of went up and down africa collected some resources that we needed to be able to upgrade our tools unlocked a couple of ports and stuff nothing crazy didn't do any main missions or anything but a lot of this game is just so much about exploration as you can see here we're nine minutes into this episode and this is where we're at please don't hit that ship right there i can't turn left we have too much speed turn 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 just don't, don't even look at them. Just stare straight. We're gonna be fine. Don't antagonize them. Hopefully they'll leave us alone. Because if they wanted to, they would sink us like a rock. But yeah, basically this is all about kind of sailing around. It's really slow. You can fast travel to places you've already uncovered. So you gotta discover places first, but it's a lot of just sailing around and, and collecting resources and stuff, which isn't the most exciting content, especially if you're not having an end goal like we, we do today, building a new ship. This thing is gonna be epic. Looks like we've got a lot more land on the horizon here. I'm hoping once we get through this little channel, it should have calmer waters in here. It's kind of my goal, get through the chaos and be able to enjoy some better weather. Oh yeah, already clearing up. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that, leave the stormy seas behind and we have some blue skies and calm water in front of us. Welcome to the Ring of Fire. We've got volcanoes in the distance. Windmills, that's gotta be Dutch settlements. More windmills there. What level are these guys? Eight? I mean, we're kind of in the ballpark. I wouldn't say we wanna invoke any fights, but if we had to, we might be able to make something work. I can't believe we just sailed all the way through that too. That was crazy. The fact that it took like 10 minutes too is kind of funny. Got a Dutch settlement right here. A little guard tower and a castle. I'm not, I'm not gonna cause any problems. I'm just gonna run into your coastline. Hopefully you don't care too much about your rocks. Now we have upgraded our tools a lot. That's kind of what I was doing, gathering resources to be able to get level four crowbar and stuff. Look at this. Oh, oh, we've got a purple. We've got a purple spot now, let's go. It looks like it just gives us a lot more. We also have Batik. I haven't seen that before. Okay. Just trying to fly under the radar here. Just the really old dinky rickety ship with the black s sails with the skulls on it. Nothing to uh, concern yourself about here. We'll take those. I don't feel like much of a pirate here. I was feeling like a big fish in a small pond across the ocean. Now in the eastern side of things, I'm... I'm feeling like a minnow. We're gonna be careful. Let's just be on our best behavior. We're just here to do some exploring. I'm like, you know, Christopher Columbus. He was totally just exploring too. Definitely didn't do anything bad. All right, let's refocus. We're gonna to go to Talak Panjara. I mean, this is such a peaceful looking place. I just love all the little windmills and stuff all over the place. We aren't, we aren't getting into a fight, are we? I saw this. Couple of shipwrecks over here. I'm gonna try to grab as many shipwrecks as possible. We are gonna have to find some hideouts so we can store our stuff. We are such a long way from home, man. Hopefully we're gonna be okay here. Gotta try to try to get the purples. There it is. Ooh, see like this. This is what we want right here. A pirate hideout that we can actually use as like a fast travel point, I think. Okay, that makes me feel so good, baby. That's what I'm talking about. What are you called here? Oh, that's the ruined lighthouse. I was gonna say, that's either a windmill or a lighthouse. 
that fell down in. Oh, it, yeah, it fell all the way from up top there. Dude, this is insane. So we're going to have traitors here. Corrupt DMC officer. We have not yeah. met with these guys yet. We've got side missions. We also have new weapon blueprints and all kinds of stuff. Dude, there's going to be a lot of stuff here. We don't know or understand. Brigantine. Demi Cannon 4. That's the, the highest level I think I've seen yet. But this is nice. So now we have caches. Ironwood planks. We'll take those all day. But we have caches that we can drop the stuff that we're picking up in here. And we'll be able to get this when we go back east. Or back west. And now we've got a fast travel point. So if at any point... I mean, it's probably going to be pretty expensive. I'm a little bit worried about what this is going to cost. If we wanted to go back home right now, it'd be 545. That's actually not that bad. All right. I'm feeling much better now that we know for a fact that we're going to be able to get back here if we die. So let's set sail. We're going to keep heading towards that port. Ironwood actually sounds really good. Let me see if we can... Ooh. We can potentially grab Ironwood along the way. Let's do that. I'm assuming Ironwood is going to be needed to make this ship. If this ship is from this region, we're definitely going to have to get wood from the region, right? I don't even know if we're going to have a, a saw that can saw Ironwood. But we're going to hope for the best. Dude, this is gorgeous with the palm trees and the volcanoes in the distance. This is amazing. I love this. As soon as we get this ship, we're actually going to be able to sail this area too. I like that the game, like it, it doesn't lock you into like a specific path so we're you know leveling up by getting a better ship here if we can make it happen looking for iron what it's probably with these birds right here we've got a shipwreck here as well harvest durian that's not what we wanted we could force open the shipwreck and hope we get some ironwood ah it says the ironwood's behind us i mean come on look Ooh, there's ironwood right there. Usually when it, there's floating ironwood, that means there's ironwood close. Is this ironwood the little thing? That's durian. I'll take durian if we can get it, but I want iron. Oh, that's got to be ironwood right there. Is that ironwood? Ironwood, let's go. Please tell me we can cut this. If we can cut this, that's huge. But look at this area. We can. Oh, gosh, it's really hard, though. There it is. You gotta, you gotta hit it earlier than you think every time. It, it, it like pauses a little bit. Shoot, we're gonna be fine. Like there's a delay from when you touch the button. It, it goes just a millimeter too farther. Let's see if we can do this one a little bit better. I'm gonna be quiet and really focus up. Here we go, Ironwood. Oh my gosh, we almost had a good, I mean, that was, that was solid, but. It could have been better if we would have had the last one there. Okay, I like this. So we're getting some some new local wood. Going to be able to turn this into some ironwood planks. We've got some big shipwrecks over here. Might as well go check this out. See if we can get into any trouble with it. Dude, this is amazing. I, I truly feel like an ocean explorer here. You know, discovering new things. Haven't seen these people. Haven't seen these resources. We're just out here trying to make a name for ourselves four in a row beautiful we'll take that got our guys singing out here like this is amazing dude the sense of adventure that this game gives all right i say i mean we could hit this one and then we're gonna keep going up north oh we got ironwood right here hold it boys bring the sails in harvest i'm gonna lose it i can't see anything Feel like I got kind of robbed on that one, but we'll take it. We still got a decent amount. Just us and our crew and our trusty co-pilot, our cat here. Dude, this is, this is something. Okay, it's getting a little bit later in the day. I say we get to our objective. Let's go get the, uh, the blueprint for this ship because it's going to tell us what we actually need. I'm sure we're going to need a, a lot more than the wood from this region, so... There's going to be a lot of exploring today, but it's going to be well worth it, trust me. We got a taste of the high life in the last episode when we took over Skurlock's ship, so I'm... I'm hungry, baby. I, I want some action. I want some firepower. I want to be able to hold our own. Oh, another little pirate outpost. Dude, look at the sun. Stop it. We got a pirate outpost right here next to the place that we're going. I'm assuming the place we're going, if we could buy a blueprint there, it's going to be an outpost as well. Look at this. I love it. 
We're gonna be fine. Don't you guys worry. Don't don't get it twisted. These are friendlies. We are from the other side of the world, but it's good to see you. We're from the Caribbean. We're pirates from the Caribbean. Welcome to the Karst Lookout. We have an overseas smuggler here. Let's see what he's got. Balanced masts, all kinds of meat and foods and enhanced repair kits that we can't buy yet because we're on a high enough level. We got our cash here. Let's put our wares in, make sure we don't lose them. And I think this will probably be the last time we get sidetracked. Durian. I've not seen those yet. We've got a ton of ironwood. That's what I'm talking about. Got some screw mechanisms. Some cam for I haven't heard of half of this stuff. The fact that you can hide stuff at any spot and then go back and get it later is, is so cool. Like get it from any other spot. I really like the way they did the uh, inventory system in this game. All right, enough sidetracking. Let's go find out exactly what we need out of our uh, our new ship. Lots of ironwood here too. Looks like, yep. So if we need to come back for that, we can. This is a level six. See, like we, we could take that on. He's got 13 ironwood on him. Is this a safe zone too i mean we're not we're not great but we're not in bad shape either i think this this is a safe zone beautiful so this is kind of like our saint saint anne i always want to call it saint denise was is it saint anne yeah saint anne got red dead redemption on the mind but uh, this is our our little pirate what oh my goodness are we gonna have like a We've got everything here too. We're gonna have a carpenter, a shipwright, a blacksmith, everything else. We've even got all the hecklers up at the front that make fun of you when you first arrive. And they're laughing at us because we don't have shoes, first of all. I do feel like eventually we should get some shoes, but they're also laughing because we're just not a high enough level, I don't think. So we want uh, we want to purchase it from the shipwright. All right, so we're, we're gonna head into town. We're gonna go talk to the shipwright. They do things differently over here, huh? Where, which one's the shipwright? Take a look at our map. Shipwright's gonna be up here on the left. Dude, this is crazy. It's kind of a similar setup. How you doing? Hopefully this isn't too expensive. Let's craft some new items. We need the blueprint, so we need to buy and sell. Here she is right here. It's gonna cost us a pretty $5,280, but it's gonna definitely be worth it. We need ironwood planks, steel ingots, fine rami, shellac and crude saltpeter as well as 2880 silver so we're gonna purchase this i actually think we might have enough ironwood plank and steel ingots let me go talk to the uh you've got a refinery here how you doing hello bon now the carcassian training has arrived sorry no time for politesse or decorum i'm only 21 but i've seen many horrors once, my captain's skull was blown into my mouth. I ate shards of death that day. And now, That's disgusting. I find myself here. The only place I'm not haunted constantly by these endless tragedies. How is your journey to eternal death coming along? <laughs> you know, we're all on the way, huh? I don't feel, fear death, only a lack oh. of coin. Direct, like that. <laughs> to the point. I hate bullshit. If you continue as you are, maybe... You'll be a real pirate. Oh, I'm well on the way, life. baby. You know my but I function. need your help. Find me shit, and I make it the best shit you've ever seen. I must work because others depend on me now. Dommage. So I'll be here. Unfortunately. I like that we found a new little community here. So we're going to provide him some iron wood, which is right here. Let's go ahead and make the max planks. We can make up to 26. So while he's... Working on that, let me talk to our shipwright, Miss and if we're going to craft new items, if we are going to go for this. So we're going to have enough ironwood planks for sure. We do not have the steel ingots that we need. We do not have the fine rami. We do not. Well, we have two shellac, and then we also need crude saltpeter. The ironwood has already come through. Our boy has hooked it up. He must be ex-company or something. He's definitely got that French accent. So let's uh, go ahead and take all this. So that's done. Let's go ahead and track this blueprint here, okay? So we, we've got it tracked. We want to find steel ingots. Where are we going to find steel ingots? Looks like we've got the South Demai Foundry. We can buy them from, or we could potentially, if we go to our codex, we're going to look for raw materials. What do we turn into a steel ingot? Nickel, pure iron? I would think probably iron. I looked it up. Yeah, it takes three pure iron. So what we want to do, instead of going and buying the ingots, which is going to be really expensive, let's just track the iron. Let's go back to our map here. And iron is going to be found around this area. So let's go mine some iron. I, we should, I think we have a level four pickaxe. So we should be able to. 
Let's go ahead and, and set sail here. And we're just going to check this off one at a time. We're going to find each resource. And we're going to build this dang ship. We could potentially have... Oh, pure iron right there. Level six? I mean... I have to. This isn't going to be our smartest fight, but we're so close to home. Send it, baby. Come on. Take him down. Crew boarding. Get us some extra iron. Let's go. And we got some bonus iron there. That's what I'm talking about. Take it all. Is there anybody else around us that's going to come after us? I don't think so. I think we should, we should be go to just sneak under the radar. Dude, this... A pirate's life for me, baby. Just taking chunks out of people bigger than us. Building up with nothing until we have something. That's exactly what we're doing here. We can loot some of these shipwrecks. All the grinding I did off screen. We're going to have level 4 tools, level 4 crowbar to be able to access this as long as you hit the green stuff. No iron in here, but we did get some cam for. And we are looking for iron deposits. I'm not sure. Oh, it's that right there. I was going to say, I don't know what they look like. They're very hard to spot, but we should be able to pull up to this. Which one's the iron? Is it, is it this? It's not giving me an option to grab it. Shoot, we might have to steal it from other people then. I'm also not against that. Or we could potentially have to buy it. How do you get the iron? I thought we would just use our pickaxe. That's more iron right there. Let me go. We might not have a high enough pickaxe is the problem. If we pull up to this. It's not letting me grab it at all which I, I don't i don't know why it wouldn't let me see if they he's got 14 pure iron right there i mean we just we we might have to take it the old-fashioned way let pirates be pirates let bygones be bygones we've got iron oh that one you can harvest right there okay well we've already started this fight a little bit too late come on fire your muskets take them down before you can call for help come on dead Dead. I just don't want them to s shoot. We got a level eight over there coming after us. We got to go. We got to go. We're going to run back to the safe house, I think. How far is that safe house? Oh, boy. Oh, this is one of their strongholds, too. Okay, not the best idea, Trev. We're going to go run. We're going to hide. We're going to come back. We're going to come back for that spot right there. It was right on the edge of that. So not all iron can be harvested. We're going to be okay. Safe house is right over here. Just going to run like a dog with my tail between my legs. We're going to be fine. It's not a big deal. I'm a level four. I can't take on a level eight. I'm sorry. I just hope we don't die. You know what? I'm going to taunt him a little bit. Throw up the fireworks. Ha ha. You can't get us in here. Whew. All right. Let's let that wanted level go away. We're going to go back for him. That's so great. Just chilling in here. He's like, you mother trucker. He's got uncut rubies. He's got crude saltpeter. Let's go for it. Come back here. Come back here. I need that. I don't know how else to get it, but from you. And I, uh, this might be a really bad idea, but I'm going for it. We have the safety of our, our base behind us. Let's try to get him. Oh, boy. I might regret this. Oh, I regret it. I regret it big time. Yeah, we're not even, we're not even close. We're not even close. You got to get out of here, Trev. Holy cow. We're going to have to get Saltpeter some other way. We're going to have to hope some smaller ships have it because there's no way. He nuked us and took like 30% of our health in one shot. These guys we can take on. I hope we can find some more of those guys that have the saltpeter, whatever the heck it's called. But we're gonna go around. Let's let's try mining for the first time. Hopefully this is fairly simple. So when you see all the pure iron floating around, that's a mark that it's a piece you're gonna be able to mine, I think. And the birds, of course. Okay. Harvest pure iron. Trev, you got two strokes at it and you got 12. You know what? We'll take it. You just can't, you can't miss like that again. If you're going to be a two pump chump, you got to make sure you get it right. So we need uh, 15 steel ingots, which means it takes three per. We need uh, 45 things of iron. Let's check our cargo. Oh, we've got 60. All right, we're good to go. We already have what we need. Let's go back and let's get that cooking. I really love this with the lanterns and everything and all the jagged mountains and palm trees this is so cool that we got to go to two totally different areas of the world but uh, all right so we're gonna go to our refinery here how you doing good to see you ya. let's right refine theories, some items i'm gonna right provide you everything we need for some steel ingots so for 200 uh silver 
and 60 pure iron. We're going to get 20 back. And that's going to be what we need for our ship. Now, if we take a look at our knowledge, next thing is going to be fine Rami. Obviously, fine Rami is going to be made from regular Rami. So do we see Urami right here? Strong absorbent textile made from fibers of the flax plant. So if we take a look at the, uh, the tracking on that, those are going to be over yonder. After that, we're going to need shellac and crude saltpeter. Shellac is a coating agent for wooden structures, and that's gonna be found only either on people's ships or we're gonna have to purchase it at merchants. And then crude saltpeter is gonna be a natural muddy agent critical for gunpowder, and I have a feeling we're gonna have to purchase. Oh no. Yeah, you either have to purchase or take it from ships. So we might be purchasing both of those. So we need 45 Rami here. 45 crude Rami. We need 15 fine Rami for the ship. So, you know, it's it's every five. What is that? That's durian. We don't need that. So again, we're going to be going across here. Looks like we can move all the way down this island is where we're going to find the Rami. We should keep an eye out. You never know. You know, some of these little ships could have things that we need. Zoom in on him. We could get lucky. Some of those trading routes, you know, we might find a lowly, like this right here is a level six. We can take them on. That gives us 85 infamy. That's actually a little bit tempting, but I'm not going to do anything crazy right now. We're just going to chill for the moment. Once we get this ship, we're going to be in such better shape, dude. We're, I think we're probably going to be a level six immediately, and then it's going to unlock other things that we can upgrade, and we'll be able to get better cannons and stuff like that. So really, we're, we're going to be doubling or more our level fairly quickly after we get this thing which is obviously going to be very beneficial to us we got a fight going on what does he have crude saltpeter hello if i chill and just nick the supplies after he's dead are we good i'm just going to chill right here i'm not even going to fire i'm not going to show any signs of aggression they aren't hitting him though i mean i could totally just just mop him up really quick. See, we, we are going to be able to find smaller ships that have good stuff. I need you guys to step it up. It says you're sharpshooters. Come on. It's kind of fun to watch the fight. I kind of want to get into it. Screw it. I'm not going to let this get away. We're in it now. Oh my god. We died. Instantly. Okay, I should have taken the small one while we could. Anytime there's a big ship next door, you just you can't do anything. You're done. It shows it's possible though. Like if we come across a little ship and we can take them out and then get the heck out of there and act like a real pirate, it's going to be possible. We're going to be able to inch our way into a much, much better ship. So that's my goal. We'll see if we can make it happen. That was unfortunate that he decided to attack us. I really didn't do anything. I was just near them. I didn't even fire yet. I was getting ready to. He probably kind of saw it coming. So it is what it is. I'm not even worried about our shipwreck back there. We did have a good amount of food on there. Uncut ruby and lime. I don't have any food left, dude. I can't even grab our food. We're going to try to get back to our shipwreck and grab it. That's a level freaking 10, bro. This is brutal. Eat your food and run. Dude, he really wants to get us. He's going to catch us. We're screwed, bro. We are 100% screwed. We messed with the wrong team. Unless somebody can come to our aid. Yes. Put the island between you and him and just go. Just go, just go, just go, just go. Is there anything interesting in here? Crude salt, Peter. Level seven. Cannonball crate. Dude, he tried to cut that island and we, we dipped. We need somebody who's alone. Rami. I mean, I don't even think that's worth it, though. We want the crude salt, Peter. I'm going to go for that. More crude salt, Peter over there. Okay, we might be able to get these two. I don't see any big ships in the vicinity. Oh, of course, there's always one lurking. Let's go for this one, though. This guy's alone. Is this the same? They are the same. I'm just going to chill out here. We're going to wait for that guy to go by. Are we allowed to hang out together? Like, I I'm just chilling. There's nothing to see here. I think we could take both of these level sixes. I wish they both had crude salt, Peter. This one doesn't have anything we want, though, right? He's got Rami. Man, a pirate never backed down from a fight. Come on. We probably should have. He's a level seven. That's more than I thought. I mean, we're kind of getting him. Give me some things I can use, like the, the, the muskets or whatever. We got him down to half. Fire muskets, crew boarding, crew boarding. We got him. We got him. Let's go. That's how pirates roll. Yes, sir. And we got some bonus, bonus rubies. Take it all. Are we good? Keep at these people. 
And we found some freaking Rami right here. It looks like we're already getting away. Dude, that was legitimately perfect. It could not have been any better. Let's just stay out of sight for a minute until they disappear. We're now neutral. We're good to go. That's how you do it. I, the second one didn't even come to their assist. That's kind of sad. This is one of those, the faction here. We'll see if they have what we need in here. No Rami or anything, but we'll take it all. Okay. See, now we got to be at our best behavior though, because if we can, we should probably run back to our hideout and like try to make sure we, we keep what we just got. If we lost this, I would be very, very sad. There's a lot of Rami through here, though. So I'm going to gonna try to grab what we can as quickly as possible. How much do we need? 45, right? We've got 55 already. Okay. I mean, as long as as long as there are no big ships around, I wouldn't mind grabbing a little bit extra because I'm sure we're going to need it again in the future. This is kind of playing with fire. We've got something glowing over here. Rami's just like a very common plant, it looks like. Grows next to water. I don't think we're going to have a hard time with this going forward. Are those wild, like, bison or something over there? What is that? I'm not, not even sure. There's like those Asian cow things. Biltongs, maybe? Something like that? I'm not sure. I kind of have to go check this out. It's an old windmill. Usually where there's smoke like this, Usually it's some sort of encampment, and oftentimes it's it's like a friendly one, you know what I mean? Do we think... Yes, see right there, the, the, the question mark. Oh boy, crude saltpeter right there too. Level 7 though, not gonna mess with him right now, unless we want to. Is there anybody... Ah, uh, yeah, there's multiple ships. I'm gonna see... This is one of their strongholds. I'm gonna see if we can't sneak into this thing over here. This is a pirate hideout. Oh boy. It's right in the thick of it, too. We're going to have a lot of crude... Ooh, Batik. I think we're going to have a lot of crude saltpeter over here. So we're going to be able to maybe finesse a little bit. We'll see what happens. We're going to drop off all of our good stuff. Oh, my goodness. This has worked out perfectly. This is real pirate shit. We are getting it done right now. This is being sneaky, being sly, taking advantage. Like, this is great. Rimpa, how you doing? Good to see you. You have absolutely saved my butt here. You have anything interesting? Scrapper stations. I always like looking at the blueprints. Long gun fours. All right. Oh, well, hopefully you don't go anywhere anytime soon because I need you as a, a little hideout here. So we're going to drop off everything that we just got. We got all of this Rami. Got some more ironwood, some crude saltpeter. How much of that crude saltpeter do we need? So we've got two already. Let's take a look at our, our knowledge tree here. Take a look at our ships. So we have enough for 15 fine Rami. We need two more crude saltpeter and two more shellac. Dude, we're actually in great shape. So this is obviously a major... Ooh, he's got a lot of iron. More iron. More iron. This is a major trade route. One crude saltpeter here. I say we go for it. If we die, we're going to spawn right around the corner. We really missed him. Right off the bat. Hit the, hit the bonus spot. Come on. There it is. We're going to do as much damage as possible, as quick as possible, because they are going to catch up quickly. He's running away. Don't run from me. Come on. Get him. There it is. There's our shot. There's our shot. That's it. Come on, baby. Another one. Oh, shit. He's got reinforcements coming. Oh, we might be in, in deep trouble here. Crew boarding. Get it. We got it. Just grab it and run. Grab everything and we go. We got another ruby. Bonus loot. Grab everything and we, we ride. We ride. Go, go, go. Where's that other ship at? Right there. What does he have? Crude salt, Peter. I'm coming back for him. Turn. Beautiful. Can't miss your shots here, Trev. Can't miss your shots here. Come on. Come on. Money. No, we missed. No, we missed again. I said you couldn't miss, Trev. There it is. We're going to be fine, though. Honestly, the level sevens don't seem that bad. As long as nobody else rolls up. If nobody else rolls up, we're going to be in good shape. Got to lead him. Oh, missed him just by a little bit. There it is. Just do as much as you possibly can. Get him stuck in there. There it is. That's what we're looking for. When you're really close on the edge, you can't get the, the bonus spot as well. Hit him with that and then turn and hit him with this. Fire muskets. Come on, baby. Dude, we're right there. He's done. Grab it. We got it. Be careful for a second. Because we are close to a base. I think that's their base right there. But if nobody is coming, 
If we just cool it right here, do we just get both? Both of what we needed? Crude saltpeter times two. Let's go. Let it be quiet for a minute. Dude, we chilled in the hideout until we saw him coming by and then we grabbed it. All right, let's go drop this off. We've got two last things to, to get before we make our ultimate pirate ship. Just going to make sure nobody out here. Batik. Ironwood. Nope. Looks like that's a different trade route. We're getting totally different stuff over there. So, Okay. All but the final material have hardly played a dime so far, too. We'll take it. Ooh, we even got some steel ingots there. I'll take that all day. Some fine abaca. Don't even know what that is. I don't know we got a lot of uncut rubies, which is great. Amon's Meg. Not even sure, but we're getting good loot. This is what I'm talking about. Okay. So if we go in, the final thing that we need is the, uh, the shellic. I'm thinking we're, it's probably going to be best case scenario to, to just buy this. Let's go into our codex. I think it's specialized materials. Shellic. Yeah, right here. Let's, let's track that. Let me see where we're going to be going for that. It looks like we've got a, a, a spot that will hit it right there. There's a spot there. I'm just going to go buy it. Does that have enough? I hope it has enough. We've tested so much of our luck. I just, I mean, I, I would be open to potentially stealing it if we can, if we see it. But it's been a, a bit sketch for sure. Batik. Ironwood. Just make sure you don't run into anybody here, Trev. Let's just keep it on the straight and narrow. We are just another trader. Just sailing the seven seas. Just trying to do some really genuine trading. Steel ingots, I wouldn't mind those. Ironwood, I wouldn't mind that crude salt, Peter, either. These guys have the best stuff, my goodness, that's crazy. He's got cannonball crates, crude salt, Peter. We're gonna be fine. If we have to buy two shellic, it's not the end of the world. We can head back home and get her done. Look at this setup. Dude, we're gonna come back here with this ship when we're ready for it. I think we go to Africa next. I don't think we're ready to take on all these ports and stuff, but we need two shellic here. Give me two shellic. They've got a stock of one for 375, so I'm going to buy that. I'm going to be honest, I don't think I've ever seen Shellic. That's why I'm tempted to just buy it. I'm sure, I mean, it, it said that the, it was on some trade routes, like all the way up north here. I don't even, we're already struggling with the little guys down here. I don't think we are prepared in any way, shape, or form for that. So I'm going to go drop this off. We're going to go to another port and buy it. This is an interesting route here. Oh, there's another hideout here that we can discover. That's exciting. Let's just be careful. It's very narrow and we absolutely do not want to start any fights. We have almost survived. Oh gosh. Oh, that's, that's another player. A couple players. There's a level four out here, so I don't feel alone. He's out here grinding, getting his thing. Oh, oh, oh. He's actually got a really good idea. Let's grab from the shipwreck here. Shout out Frog 80. Can we not hit it right after he hit it? I guess not. Don't start anything, Trev. Dude, I think that might be the ship we're going after, so we've got the right idea here. Let's go under the land bridge. Dude, look at that. The moon. Take a look at what people have just for the heck of it. Don't hit them. Do not hit them. If you hit them, you start a fight. That is not what you want. Okay, we've got to, we're going to grab this. There's some more iron we could potentially grab. It looks like it's actually grabbable too. Is it this one? Harvest pure iron, beautiful. 18 on that one. That's the two pump we're looking for. Let me interact with this. Can we buy some, some stuff here? Fine Rami. Nope, we already have enough of that. We're good to go. It's a Rami plant. I thought that was gonna be a pirate hideout, but it's not. All right, so we're gonna keep, keep moving out here. Be careful not to run into anything. I'm just gonna harvest a little bit of extra Rami while we're here. I'm planning, we're gonna buy this and I'm just gonna fast travel straight to, uh, or we aren't gonna be able to fast travel, are we? Cause this isn't a home base. Well, that's unfortunate. I guess we could travel down to this guy or something. We're gonna have to dock somewhere. Do not run into them. Do not run into them, Trev. Do not run into them. Just mind your own business. How you doing? Good, good to see you. Just give them, give them like a nice, a nice wave as you go by, like a, a little jeep wave, just like a little, a little tip of the hat. Get some more ironwood here. Don't run into those guys. Let's interact with Kin Kerr. Let's buy and sell. Please tell. Yep, they've, they've got one. We can buy one shellac. I will take that. They're now out of stock. Okay. 
We have everything we need. Now we just need to get back to a safe haven. We need to get back out of here. This is going to be our closest safe haven. Let's go. Well, I have not worked this hard for anything, dude. My hands are sweating. I just don't... The, the two most valuable pieces that we have from this entire thing are now in our inventory. I, I cannot take losing them. We need to just... Where's that pirate hideout? It's this one. Oh my gosh, it's so far away. Open waters. If one of the big guys comes up and sinks us, uh, yes, it, you know, it was our time, but we did our best here. You can't fast travel without it, right? I'm just going to fast travel all the way back home. You need to dock to be able to fast travel. We made it. Oh my gosh, dude. Can't freaking believe it. <sighs> I hope we have everything because I'm just going. I'm out of here. I'm done. We should have everything we need. So now that we're in port, Let's just, honestly, we can go th straight through the storm and everything else. Gonna cost us 575 silver, but that's fine. We are back in the Caribbean. Back where we were meant to be. That is beautiful. All right, so now what we're gonna do, let's go to Ye old Mill, the refinery. I've got some new wares that you have never seen Good before. Tidings, need you to refine you these for me. Help. I'm gonna need some fine Rami. So let's max that thing out. Can also provide you some stuff for some steel ingots. Max those out. Collect our Rami, and I think we are good to go. If we go to our ship right, if we did this right, craft a new item, craft the Padawa Kang. 18 ironwood planks, 15 steel ingots, 15 Rami, fine Rami, 4 Shellek, and 4 crude saltpeter with 2,880 silver equals... This absolute monstrosity. Let's go, baby! Oh, that took so much time. I bet this is already a pretty long episode for YouTube, but it took a lot longer than that, I'll tell you what. Let's go, dude, that feels so good. So, I mean, honestly, we could probably go to end game with this ship. We're gonna build some more ships as we go along, but this is the bread and butter, for sure. Select so, like, the Padua Kang as our main. Yep, let's go ahead and move all cargo to the new ship. Look at this thing, dude. So we were a level four before, and that was with the, the bonuses on it. Now we are a level five straight up. Our Sentinel Cutter, obviously we are going to miss the healing aspect to it. This thing, it has specialized in dealing damage and status effects. The DPS favors an aggressive playstyle. Explosive hits have a 70% chance of triggering an explosion, which deals 1,000 damage within a 125 meter blast radius. Increases to 100% of target ship is ablaze. Like Increases defense. damage to structures by 50% and weapon damage radius by 12%. So basically anything that goes boom, whether it's on land or on water, is going to have a harder time. Now our, our Sentinel here... At a, a base rank of two, this thing has a ba base rank of five. 37,000 and 7,400 on the health, 21,000 and 4,200 on the health. So we've got basically double the health, nine knots, 13 knots on speed, 11 knots, 14 knots are gonna be able to get around quicker, 70,000 cargo space and 100 stamina. We have tripled our cargo space. Dude, that is absolutely outrageous. And look at this. Two weapon slots and two furniture slots. How about four weapon slots and four furniture slots? Dude, this is, this is, a, I, I love it. Let, let's go in. Let's manage our ship. Do we, we don't even have anything set up yet. Dude, we, the world is our oyster. Look at this. We've got bow, port, starboard, stern, and auxiliary. We've got an armor slot here. Let's pick our best armor. This one's our best armor, the Iron Husk. Furniture, we're gonna be going with, uh, I like the Rope Locker. Rope Locker helps with your speed. So we're gonna go with Rope Locker on this. I really liked having the Fire Bombards on our bow. Now we're gonna have to upgrade these over time. This is only Fire Bombard one. We can do a lot better than that now, but we're gonna put that on our bow because it's got that bonus from the, the uh, furniture that we put on there. We've got demi cannons. We've got torpedoes. We've got culverin ones. What's our bet? What's a zanzama? I don't even know what that is. I'm gonna go culverin ones on the left and right. We could go with some torpedoes on our back. Could be kind of interesting. We're gonna have to mess with this over time. We don't even have an auxiliary weapon at this point. But look at this. We're already a level six. Look at this thing, dude. Are you kidding me? Look at our ship that we have access to now. 
This is amazing. Changed up the look a little bit. Take a look at her. The black and red looks so good, dude. Oh my gosh, I love it. We even have the dancing skull on the, the sails there that we've been using before. So uh, one thing I definitely want to do, and I'm probably going to take a look at a little bit after this episode, is I just, I really want to craft some better cannons and things. Like we could get some Culverin fives. I really wouldn't mind like the, the fire bombard three, or there's even a Dardanellus gun here, which brings it up to 110. So like there are so many good things we can throw on here that's gonna make it even more lethal than it already is. We just need to go around, we need to find the blueprints and stuff, but it's really not gonna be hard. So like we can't get three yet because we need to be a cutthroat pirate, which I think we're almost two. But if we wanted two, you can buy it from the corrupt company that's officer in Fort Bird Lewis. So we could just go buy that right now if we wanted. But I'm not going to focus on it too much. I think we still jumped up quite a bit here. I definitely think we've uh, gotten a, a bit better equipment than we need for some of the missions we're going to be doing. So let's go talk to Skurlock. I'm sure he's going to be impressed with the fact that we were able to get this thing done. And let's go see if we could take her out for a spin. I wouldn't mind shooting your something. Your infamy continues to rise. Soon all will shiver in your wake. Yeah, they will. Feeling pretty good. New contract, blood-soaked silver. Tooling's demands for exotic goods from the coast of Africa increase, but the Unguana are poised to put up resistance. Steal exotic goods from the coast of Africa for Skurlock. Let's do it. Karadek threatens my life, and now makes sport of my ships. He prowls about in that warship, Le Spectre. Cargo meant for Tulin falls into Karadek's hands. Who taunts me like I'm a caged animal and I've got the urge to bite? <sighs> Our foe draws near, but the demands of the pirate round must be met. If Chulin removes his backing, the port will crumble. I think it's time we face Karadek. Karadek's a wolf, and pirates are his sheep. We must lure him into a trap of our own making. Karadek will fall. And I'll trust your hand to deal the blow, but have patience. I would hate to lose a good captain. You've seen the, the ship I'm wheeling now? Africa bears fruits yet unplucked. Bring them to me, and I'll see Tulin plied. This port will stand. My lesser captains, I'll keep them here in the Red Isles. You'll head off to the coast of Africa, while I feed them to Karadek. Watch out for the Spectre. Get those goods, Cully. So my captain's deaths may serve a purpose. Fast traveled over here to Dragon's Back. This is an island we've been to before when we were on the hunt for a, uh, a, a blueprint. But uh, we are going to be looking for ivory along the coast of Africa here. It looks like it's grabbed pretty much exclusively from trade routes. We're not going to be able to grab it from anywhere else. So we're just going to sail around. We're going to look for some unsuspecting victims we do have a lot of ivory right here but unfortunately it's being used to uh make beef jerky that is really unfortunate to look at all right here we go trying out the new ship welcome it always auto names your ships as, as vengeance we need a name for her but uh, welcome to africa and it looks like the coast of africa is i'm just gonna mark this Sounds good to me. So, New York's elite wants some ivory from Africa. We're going to take it as soon as we can. Let's see if we can't start some fights. A level two ship here. There it is. What happens if I just ram it? Full speed. Why are we only going eight knots? Do we have a full hull or something? Oh, 12 knots now. Full speed. Boom! That's what I'm talking about. And I guess we might as well crew board him. So much taller, we could just shoot down on him. Let's go. Got some bonus loot. We'll take it. Drop the sails. Look at that sunset off in the distance. I don't feel good about this. I don't like the ivory trade. I'd rather have happy elephants that aren't having their tusks ripped off, but if it's already happened, I might as well take it for myself. So this is our, our trade route we're approaching. We're going to take a right. I'm going to ride it up into here, and then we're going to find some boats in here for sure. Oh my goodness, a whale. 
That was pretty cool. Let's see what's on this guy's boat yet. Uncut diamond and lime? I mean, that sounds pretty good. I don't have a whole lot of that, so let's go for it. Let's hoist the sails. Here we go. I do, I, I think we really, you know, with this new ship, obviously it's very good, but we definitely need some improved, I missed that, didn't I? We need some improved weapons. Oh, that, that one shot killed him. Let's go. Hit him in the weak spot. Looking for ivory. Do you have any ivory? Just has silver there. So we want to go right. Any one of these guys could have uncut diamond and lime. Those are both pretty rare. Ivory, let's go. That's the one. It looks like Big Honey might be going for him too. Not if I can get there first. That's going to be short. Fire a little bit longer. Come on, baby. Try to take another shot at him. Got him. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. You got to shoot in front of him though, Trev. You want to hit him. Got their mass there. Aim a little bit lower. Aim super low. Still missed him. Pull up alongside. There it is. Crew boarding. The crew boarding is a cheat code. The fact that we're so much taller than everyone, we can just run up. Come on, son. Get out of here. No bonuses on that, but we did get some ivory, so we'll take it. Another ship over here. Take him down. Looks like they had already finished him, but I will happily steal some of the loot from it. We're going to want to bang a right around this island and head back up north. How you doing, Snappy Level 7? Ooh, good choice of ship there, sir. Good choice of everything. Do we have the exact same setup? I think we do. It's just so funny how the different areas, like, in here, in, like, the early coast of Africa, we're a big dog when we're fighting level 3s and destroying them. We were just a level 4 a couple minutes ago. But if we go over to the, the eastern side of things, obviously we're going to struggle over there again. We're still not a big fish in, a, in the pond over there yet. Let's take some of these guys. Dude, there are going to be so many shipwrecks over on this side of the world that we haven't unlocked yet. Didn't previously have the level 4 ability. Cannonball crates and fish. We're going the right way. We're looking for ivory trade ships here. Got one coming in through the fog. Oh, this is a bigger one. It's got an ivory flag. Uncut diamonds and limes. Here we go. Crew boarding. Can we hit him? A little bit too long. Oh, he's got a he's got a flamethrower. We try to get that crew boarding so we can get the bonuses. There it is. One thing we are gonna have to remember, I haven't had to actually like, I don't know, heal in a long time. What do you have? Ivory? Nope, that's the cannonball guy. We're getting shot out from behind. So yeah, we're we're gonna have to start healing again soon. I mean, we might as well heal right now. We're gonna need some better restoration kits and stuff. That is like it's going to be nice that we can do way more damage, but it's not going to be nice that we don't just auto-heal at all times. Cannonball crates. A few more ships up here. We're looking for the ones that are flying the the tusk flag like that right there. Ivory on this little one, though. Don't mind if I do. Here we go. We are kind of in the thick of it. Like, I don't... I don't love this. Just going to take him down. Give me your ivory, dude. We punted him. Just keep healing where we can. We're probably... Uncut diamond and lime. I think we're gonna want. Let's uh, let's go in here. Uh, let's edit this. We're gonna want to turn this into a, a higher repair kit. We should be able to dominate battles a, a bit more. Like we should be able to take all these guys on and the, the bases and stuff with this beast. Crew boarding. Just don't miss that. There it is. But we're gonna have to be able to heal as we go, dude. This is insane. We're like a freaking tank now. This is so good. This is exactly what we needed. Just double bombs off the rip there. Triple is gonna end him. He's done. Have a nice life. Enjoy your trip to Davy Jones. Where's the one with the ivory? Got cannonball crates. There was one with ivory over here and I think we lost it. Uncut diamonds and limes. I mean, anytime you can get uncut diamonds, I would imagine that's gotta be pretty good, right? One good hit there. We're gonna kill him. That was a little bit off center. He's dead. You got any ivory over here? Find Sissel. Dude, we are... These ships, when they get hit with our stuff, they're just like rocking all over the place. They can't handle it. We are a straight up warship now. Like just absolutely decimating the little 
children out here. I'm looking for ivory, though. That's all I care about. These guys are getting into a fight over here. He's not going to have ivory. He's got cogwheels. Uncut diamonds and limes. I mean, I don't mind if I do. I will take that all day. He's down. I'll pick that up. I was shooting at him, and we got the other one. All right. Mutually assured destruction there. Nice job, fellas. Got another big shipwreck here. It's going to be... Dude, we got to go back through and loot so many things now that we have the upgraded materials. Probably not going to be much ivory up here. Let's turn around. We're going to make one last pass. I'd like at least a little bit more. Ivory, ivory, ivory. That's hemp. Got a few more up here. Hemp. Ivory. Let's go. How you doing, little buddy? Let me come check something out really quick. Oh my gosh. Just a two-shot KO. GG, you done, son. Anybody else have ivory over here? Uncut diamond and limes. I like diamonds. Don't mind if I do. Missed that first one there. Let me run into you. <laughs> dude, this is outrageous. I love it. We really grinded for this, too, dude. We earned it. The ability to be able to do this, this is huge. I mean, it's... it's we're still kind of having to try, and again, this is a pretty easy area. We already kind of outgrew this even before we had this ship, so... Things are going to be tough here soon, but it feels good to kind of bully people a little bit. My goodness, dude. Just not missing shots. We got to upgrade our, our equipment, though. It'll be a lot of fun. We had better equipment. You got ivory over here? Even if you don't, I'm taking you down, buddy. Fish and Dizzy. Got hemp over there. I'm not worried about hemp. Got a slightly bigger one. Uncut diamonds and limes. I'll take that. Try to hit the, the weak spot. Let's go. Half health off the rip. Oh my gosh, dude. This is outrageous. He's already done. Does that have ivory? Cannonball crates. I mean, we're using a lot of, a lot of ammo here, so we might as well take what we can. All right. It's time to sail back home. I think we got more than enough. I'm feeling very confident. See if we have anything on these guys out here. Bronze ingots, I'll take that. Let me see if I can. Kobe! It's gonna be short. Kobe! It's gonna be behind him. Come on. That's good. That's money. That's in there. Oh, over the top, barely. That's GG. Nope. When you hit the mast, it doesn't really do much. We got a captain over here. I'll take him on. I'll also take this guy down for some more diamonds. Come on, baby. I got your help. There it is. Good shots there. Run into him, baby. Full speed. Boom! Didn't really do all that much. Okay, this is kind of chaos. I'm not going to lie. Oh, we haven't used our torpedoes. Oh, we don't have any torpedo ammo. That's unfortunate. I haven't fought a big captain like this yet, I don't think. Feeling pretty confident. Couple good hits there. We're not the only big dog out here. We got level six Lin's dummy over there. Come on. We gotta hit him. There it is. Clean hit. Throw fire bombs? That's an option? Since when is that a thing? This is a big guy, dude. He's taking a lot of damage. See, this is what I mean. It, it's not straight up easy now. It, the little guys are easy, but we still got a a pretty big job ahead of us here. I'm gonna try to hit that weak spot. There it is. Hit some more weak spots here. Come on, run into them. They're on fire. Really wish we had a uh, get out of that. We're good. Really wish we had some torpedoes, and I wish we had a, a what's it called? I don't even know what I'm saying. I wish I had something. Hit him here. Boom! Some good shots there. Let's finish him off. Come on. Reload, reload, reload. This will be it. He's... They just tanked for him right there. Come on. Bro, get out of here. I want to finish the captain. He's done. Woo! I don't know if I got the final kill shot there, but... I'll take some, uh, I'll take some credit for that. We got a level three here. You have any? He's got uncut diamonds and limes. I mean, don't mind if I do. Is our boy still here? Lin's dummy, he's sailing away. I'm just gonna bounce. Look at this. So we've, we've got the, the health. 
We've got the strength, but we also really have speed. We're pulling on these guys. Look at the size of these sails. We are bending that wind to our will, except for when it, it blows us back. I deserve that. All right. We're heading over here to our, uh, our little safe house on the islands of the moon. And we're going to fast travel back to Mr. Skurlock and give him the ivory we collected. I just can't believe we're able to take on that many ships all in a row. Just getting absolutely... <sighs> I mean, don't mind if I do. We have to. When in Rome, just, just take the ivory. Give me the ivory. I'm going to destroy every last one of you until you stop killing elephants for your trade. Got some grilled bread, cannonballs, teak planks, all kinds of stuff. But yeah, we were in the thick of the battle there, and like, we... we not every ship was being completely destroyed, you know what I mean? Like, we, we had to work on the offensive end some. Definitely a little underprepared. We need to upgrade our, our weapons and our... Make sure we have ammo for our torpedoes and stuff like that. But we, like, we were just taking damage, and we were able to respond to it. It wasn't, like, a, a big stressor like it has been in the past, where we've got to hit and run and disappear and come back and, and try to be shifty with it, which is really nice, so. Yes, yes, I know. My adoring fans out here. Your boy went out east. We got a sick ship. Thank you. Appreciate it. I'm going to keep eating that up. You guys hated me for so long. I'm going to make sure y'all know who the man is every time I come back here to the Caribbean, so. Let's go lock this in with John. This game's opening up, man. Lots of new opportunities Sailing on the horizon. in a pad of a can, I see. That Ola can take a real beating. Yeah, she can. I love that he reacts and you avoided the, says the things we say. And got the goods. You made Chulin happy, saved the pirate round in this port. For a time. And then Chulin and his pigs will squeal for more. The pirate rounder. A mere service to their whims. We'll get it done. And yet, it is the only way you can make coin and live long enough to spend it. Nothing else works. I've tried. I've starved. You see, That's I left home barely a lad. Why? Father was a severe man. The mother died. He and his lash left me no choice but to escape. I took to the streets. I begged what I could. I stole what I couldn't. The point is, I was cut down before I had a chance to grow. And here, I am chief of trade. But I am still not entirely free of the lash. When Tulin and the pirate round call, I must heed. If I grasp the helm, and deviate from course, only ruin awaits. Yet stay put, my fate is not my own. <sighs> Leave me alone. I wish to think. That's tough. Piracy was always so romanticized in, in movies and books and TV and stuff like that, but it, it really was a really, really hard job. We're keep not gonna take the next dry. series. Will do. You keep your trousers warm, bud. Dead. Good luck with the thinking. That's sad. So yeah, he, I mean, he's got the freedom of he runs this island. He has everything going for him. He has all these people below him who respect him and stuff like that. But at the same time, he is still working. He's just a cog in the machine for the man. He doesn't actually get to enjoy anything for himself. Kind of almost a, I don't know, modern society in a lot of ways kind of reflects that. So hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you find a way to be happy and have some fun today, unlike Mr. Skurlock. And uh, my goodness, dude, I, I really am liking this game. I'm going to grind a little bit. Might get some upgrades for this ship. We're going to continue on. I think we're cruising through the storyline. I don't think it's a short one. I think it's like a medium, short to medium-ish game, medium. So I, I think we're getting there, but I think there's still a lot to uncover. So I'll see you guys later. Peace out.